the play is sort of a one-person solo show with the Queen, and we're just sort of guest people on. What's somewhat remarkable about all <clears throat> these pri uh, prime ministers in the relationship with the Queen is how much information is within, say, approximately 10 minutes. You do get a short dummies version of history in from 52 to almost present day through the evening. Yeah, with Anthony Eden, he is hoping for a quick and easy approval from the Queen. He's just hoping to relate the facts as he wishes her to understand and go about his business. And it, she proves to be much more in touch with what is actually going on. Brown comes in, he's been, he's only been in power for a couple of years, but we've gone through the uh, 2008 financial crisis. He stopped the world from going into depression because he managed to bring a lot of nations together to work on this financial problem together. But within his own nation, he was, he was not supported by his people. They all thought that he was, um, he was manipulating them. He was actually trying to save them all but so he was he, he was losing his his uh, position nationally and internationally and i think he's actually has come in to almost apologize um to the queen for being a loser i don't know for <laughs> sure that's where i am anyway thatcher doesn't come on until the middle of act two and this particular character as well she's very boisterous forthright on the attack kind of um, energy. John Major, he's one of the more sensitive prime ministers <laughs> and uh, I think he really is looking for some kind of guidance and confirmation from the Queen. He's really using her as a sort of a <clears throat> sounding board for advice and, and that sort of thing. So he actually I think he really relies on the Queen for some practical advice. The Queen ends up being like a prime ministerial therapist. <laughs> she should have a couch instead of chairs. <laughs>